What's up, bronies? It's Sloaf, and today I have some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I'm using the ATR, Holographic, Wet Silencer, and I have no idea what I'm using for my secondary. Well, today I'm going to talk to you guys about something my friend told me. And it is about how uh, YouTube uh, famous, famousy, whatever, YouTube popularity works. So, this is what he told me. Now that I look at it, it's pretty obvious because the only channels that get famous are famous because other uh, YouTube famous people, celebrities, whatever, make them famous. They promote them, and that's the way they get famous. They don't climb up the the tower of success no they just jump straight to the top because there's people like Ray William Johnson white boy what and this and I'm talking about any type of channel any blog game music and all that and any famous pe person will go and promote another channel and just because you know he's promoting and he's famous he's gonna get all these people all these followers subscribers he has to subscribe to that other channel and so obviously this channel is going to become popular um, in, like in no effort whatsoever and leaving other good channels other you know channel underground channels that are at the very bottom but they still offer good quality good entertainment and they're not going to get a chance to try out success to see what that piece of popularity tastes like cuz there's these famous people making other people famous without those people need to put the most minimum effort whatsoever and so you know this is something that's very unfair this is something that's happening all over YouTube I know that there's a lot of good channels out there and I'm subscribed to a lot of them and you know they're all type of channels they're they're gamers they're bloggers they're musicians they're all this stuff and you know it's going to be hard for them to, you know, one day finally reach at least 100 subscribers because there's all these types of people getting unfair, unfair fame. They're gaining it the sheep way, even if they just go up to the guy and say, I'll promote my channel and, you know, and I'll do whatever or I'll give you this many subs and all that. And there's something, there's something else that happens for YouTube. There's these, like, people that say subs for subs now that's something I don't like and whenever I sub to somebody some of them have the tendency to subscribe back and I don't like that I mean I'm subscribing to you for a reason and that's because I like your videos not because I want you to subscribe back and that's something I really don't like because you know it's not the point of subscribing to somebody and then having them subscribe to you back and yeah maybe they do like your videos and all that but still They'll probably just there's I've come across people that just subscribe me because I subscribe them and no I literally subscribe to them just because I like their videos and You know this is something that's that gets me quite mad because you know it, There's a lot of good channels that aren't getting recognition. I mean you can go on YouTube search for Gameplays music and all that and then hit the filter for this month this week or this day and you're gonna come across a lot of good people, a lot of good uh, entertainers and all that. They're gonna be offering a lot of good content and uh, sadly only have around 10 to 50 subscribers. And yeah, that's pretty much, I guess the rant is pretty much over right now. Cause that's all I really wanted to talk about. And my phone is ringing again, my mom doesn't want to pick up. And I can cause I told her I'm doing a video. So yeah, that's pretty much how I see things, and I'm not saying that I'm a good commentator, good entertainer, or any of that, because personally, you just look at this gameplay, it's like, maximum, like, 480p, and I pretty much just do whatever type of videos I can, I, I don't compare or even come close to, to other good commentators, such as, you know, well, I don't want to give any examples, because then I would have to and I would technically be promoting them. So yeah, I mean, I'm not telling you guys to subscribe to me right now. Only subscribe if you literally do like my content. Otherwise, just don't. I'm not forcing you. I don't want you to subscribe if you don't like it. Because honestly, it's not fair. 
And yeah, it's something that gets me down a lot, you know. People on their channels go on cha people's channels who have like five or even one subscriber and they already have like on their side info like uh, milestones for like 10, 20, 50, 1,000, 5,000 all that. And sadly, they're probably, they can be on YouTube for like, uh, for like four years. And I, and I kid you not that they're probably in those four years only get to like maybe 100 subscribers. And I doubt that because I, before this channel, I had another one. Uh, I'm not going to say the name. I got that around, that, what's it called, channel around 2008. And now 2012, it only has 16 subscribers. And I have like 42 videos on there. And I mean, it does have a total, a decent total amount of views. It has like 23,000 total upload views. But that's mainly when I just started out on YouTube, just making random stuff with my friends and all that. Doing this thing called Fawn in the Bathroom. Which I know sounds wrong, but you know, it's nothing dirty or anything. It's about having fun. That's Ellis from Left 4 Dead 2. So yeah, I'm right now. Time actually, the game's pretty much close to an end right now. Just a few more dog tags. I, I don't remember if I end up winning or not. But yeah, another quick uh, thing of a bobber. Uh, I don't know if you guys like the SCP gameplay I did for Sanity K. And if you didn't, well, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna make a little SCP gameplay. I'm only gonna do like two more. Place through it because it's honestly scares me at a shit ton. Oops, sorry for the bad word. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> the game is fun, don't get me wrong, but it delivers some pretty good scares. And I'm gonna continue doing the FaceTime for all my future uh, Sandy K videos. So, yeah, you know, you, you can finally get a perspective of how I look. And if any of you happen to be, uh, followers from teaching Fluttershy then all I can say is by the time of this this video I have no idea of when the next update is because editing is taking five a lot so we're adding some interesting stuff and by we I mean extra pie he pretty much likes to add what seems interesting what really is interesting I, I really do appreciate his idea so if you're watching this you're welcome and so yeah, the game's coming to an end now, and I guess I'll see you all guys next video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and only if you feel like it. So, later bros.